Okay, so again, we've observed in lab that a current through a loop creates a magnetic field. Okay? Take a coil, run a current through it, and it creates something that magnets respond to. Okay? Compasses and magnetic substances respond to it. Uh, changing magnetic field in a loop creates an EMF, which is electromotive force, it's a voltage. Okay? Potential difference between you know, around the loop. Okay, so if this is a loop and you change the magnetic field, there's an EMF around this loop. From this point to this point, there's a potential difference. And if it's a conducting loop, it'll create a current, and that's what we observed. We didn't observe directly the EMF, we, we observed the current that resulted from the EMF. Of course, when we did it, we did it through about 100 loops, because then we got uh, response that we could easily detect with a galvanometer. Okay? We didn't actually measure it. We will. Okay? But in the context of an LRC circuit. Okay. Changing the current in a loop creates an EMF then which opposes the current. Okay? If you got a loop and a current in it and you try to change the current, well, the changing current it changes the magnetic field, which creates an EMF that opposes the change of current. Okay. Uh, okay. So we define EMF. Well, we define inductance. Okay. L is your inductance. You multiply that by the rate of change of your current, you get your EMF. Okay. And it's opposed to the change in current, which is why you have the minus sign. So we say that L. Now there's a word. Uh, there's a name for this. It's called Henry. <laughs> but I'm not using that name. I'm using the most direct, unsimplified, unfundamental version that shows you that this is EMF per rate of change of current. Current is amps, the rate of change is amps per second. It's, of course, rate of change with respect to time, amps per second, right? You can simplify that in all kinds of ways. You can simplify it down to fundamental units, totally hiding the meaning. <laughs> okay? I want to start with the meaning. Later I'll say Henry. <laughs> and you'll know what I mean by Henry, because nobody in this class has a name Henry, right? Nobody has a middle name Henry, right? Henry's not that common name anymore, huh? We got a Hurley. <laughs> yeah, we got Henry Hurley there. <laughs> well, if they had named you Henry, that would have been kind of like my parents naming me and my brother Dave and Dale to confuse my grandparents. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That wasn't their intent, but it worked. Uh, <laughs> when my grandparents got about my age, they started getting confused. <laughs> okay. They were a little older, but not much. Okay. So any day I'm going to get confused about my brother's name and mine. Um, okay, well, aside the digression. Now, we're going to have a current. The function is 3 amps times e to the negative 0.02 t. So what's the EMF as a function of t? Yeah. 